A motocrane radical that's as long as motocrane hyper. Increasing payload capacity to 55 pounds, 14 foot reach. What is this witchcraft? All of this and more on today's video. The two most important specifications of a remote arm are always gonna be payload capacity and arm length. Now, Motocrane Radical has a standard payload capacity of 35 pounds, and you can increase that to 45 pounds using our heavy lift upgrade kit. What about optimizing arm length for your unique application? Well, that's where the Radical LS, or long short kit, comes into play. So in this video, we're gonna walk through the Radical LS kit, what's included, and how to use it. And the first thing you're gonna see is when I open up the LS kit flight case, is a removable tray, and that contains the LS kit boom. And the LS kit boom looks like just a mini version of the Radical middle boom. And this is what gets mounted to the Radical fulcrum to give you that additional two feet of reach. And that's gonna be really beneficial for customers that are operating Radical on a larger vehicle, and they just need more reach, or you're looking for larger sweeping arm movements from Radical. Now, another way that you can operate the LS kit is by instead of running the middle boom as you normally would from this point forward is just omitting the middle boom altogether and going straight to the front boom. And that's gonna allow you to operate at a shorter nine foot mode with 55 pounds of payload capacity. So that's really helpful for customers that are running on smaller vehicles and they'd rather have that additional payload capacity like running a Movi XL or heavier payloads on the Ronin 2 or if you're running bigger payloads on the Shadowver G1 or Air SRH3 and you don't need that additional reach. So the other parts included in the Radical LS kit look like mini heavy lift parts and that's because the standard heavy lift upgrade kit is required for using the LS kit. And that's because in the long and short modes, you need to have that additional lateral bracing for adequate arm strength to get those ratings. So here we have a shorter heavy lift brace, and we have two of those, one for each side of the arm. And then we also have two brace mounts, and then also adapters for using them in nine foot and 14 foot modes. So we've walked through what's included in the LS kit. Now let's go see how it's actually used in practice to accomplish those 14 foot and nine foot modes. So the first vehicle that we're gonna rig is our S4 here, which is a smaller vehicle. So we're gonna rig it in the short or nine foot mode offered by the LS kit. Setup is the same as standard up to this point where we have the radical base onto our rigging, the fulcrum, the rear boom, the fairing, and then also the counterweight bar installed. The first thing that we're gonna do is attach the Radical LS kit. So now that I have the LS kit boom attached to the fulcrum, I can add the front boom as well as the LS kit lateral brace mounts. Now let's install the LS kit lateral braces themselves. Now that I've got my LS kit lateral braces installed, I'm gonna install my end braces included with the heavy lift upgrade kit. Next, we're gonna add the radical isolator to the front boom. Now, before I add my payload, I wanna weigh it and then preload my rear boom with the appropriate amount of counterweight as described in the LS kit operation manual. Now that I have the appropriate amount of counterweight added to the rear boom, I'm gonna add my payload, which starts for me with this Flow Cine tranquilizer with a full stack of passive plates and the Ronin 2 universal mount underneath it. And finally, I'm gonna add our payload, which for us today is our Ronin 2. Now that we've seen how the LS kit can transform Radical from a 12-foot arm to a 9-foot arm, let's see how it can extend reach from 12 feet to 14 feet on our Porsche Cayenne. And we're gonna start with that Radical LS kit boom, which creates the additional two feet of reach that's gonna benefit us on this Porsche Cayenne here. So here's my Radical LS kit boom that we talked about earlier, and I'm gonna add it right to the fulcrum. And now that I have my Radical LS kit boom attached, I'm gonna attach my standard middle boom that's included with Motocrane Radical. So you can probably see where this is going. And we're now gonna add this onto the middle boom that we just added, just like we would normally. All right, so I got the Radical front boom attached and you can kind of see how this is shaking out where you can see very clearly the LS kit boom attached to the fulcrum and then the middle boom and then the front boom. And then here is my Radical isolator. I already have my Flow Cine tranquilizer anti-vibration mount mounted here. Um, you could obviously do this in steps. I just have this for convenience. And I'm gonna throw this right onto my front boom. Okay, so behind me, we just finished adding all of the front boom sections, which is the LS kit boom, the middle boom, the front boom, and then the radical isolator. And now we're gonna focus on the lateral braces.
So because we're building the LS kit in the 14 foot mode, we're gonna use this 14 foot lateral brace adapter, which allows us to use the full set of heavy lift braces that come with the kit. So now that we have the 14 foot lateral brace adapters attached, we can treat the remainder of the heavy lift install just like we would on a standard unit. But instead of attaching this center brace to the passive or the active mount that's already attached to the fulcrum, we're gonna attach the center brace directly to those 14 foot adapters we just installed. All right, now the last piece of front boom assembly is gonna be adding our heavy lift end braces from the center brace to the end brace mount on the front boom. So now that we've installed the LS kit and the full front boom set of a standard radical to build this 14 foot arm behind me, we're gonna add our payload and our counterweight as instructed in the LS kit operation manual because those ratios are now different with this added length. So first make sure you measure your payload. And I know in this case is about 34.4 pounds. I'm just gonna use the 35 pound instructions. So I'm gonna add my counterweight preload first, and then I'm gonna mount my payload and then add the remaining counterweight needed to achieve course balance as instructed in the LS kit operation manual. If your unit is INS2 equipped, make sure you add that INS2 sensor cable from the sensor down the arm to the serial port on your radical base pedestal. And after all your cables are installed, you can go ahead and power up the system and go through a balance test to make sure you've achieved fine-tuned balance on the lift axis. If you have questions about the Radical LS kit or Motocrane Radical in general and your application, if you feel like the system is right for you, make sure you get in touch with us. We'd be happy to answer any questions you have. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.